welcome back to an episode of Car Chronicles. Now this is where we talking about men issues, things men are facing, things I'm seeing while my finger is on the pulse of our society, things that I'm seeing men dealing with. And what I, what I really want us to think about is male responsibility and male accountability. And what I mean by that is, the other day, I saw a post, and I had seen it a while ago, but then I seen it again. But I saw a post of a lady, and she said, don't let that relationship, y'all forgive me, a little rev break. Let me know you win a couple times. She said, don't let that phone destroy your home. And when she said that, and she said, you know, that woman on the side, she over there, if this man is a good provider, if he's a good father, then let that woman over there do what she doing. She cleaning up the trash. That's what she supposed to do. Don't let that phone destroy your home. And it broke my heart as a man to see leaders. I saw Christian influencers. I saw finance influencers. I saw men who, who, who their message reach millions of people. Put in the comments, oh, that's great advice. Oh, that's, and liking it, just liking it. When you like that kind of post, when you like that kind of post, even if you just liking it just because the page is asking, hey, let's have a conversation. When you like that post, you liking that message. You liking that message. I, I struggled with that the other day because, you know, I'm in a video where some of the clips they put in there was from the strip club and it was booty cheeks on there. And I wasn't at the strip club. I had nothing to do with that, but that was part of the B-roll footage that the editor used. I was teaching a seminar but the guy who put the seminar on, he had went to the strip club. That's part of his lifestyle. I liked the post because I was in there and because he sent it to me. But I struggled with that because I didn't want nobody to think that I was liking the booty of the stripper. And that's the same type of thing when I'm talking about. Now that's a little different, but when men are saying, hey, yes, we agree. Let us have a side woman as long as we keep her in her place and we're a good father and we're a good husband, don't go through our phone and find out what we talking and doing with this side woman if we taking care of home. And we, I, I wanna challenge you as, as men, and, I, and this is how I think about this. I don't have a daughter, but when a man is loving a woman, we loving a female. Your daughter is a female. So if we have to think about what message is it sending our daughters? If you have a daughter, if you are cheating on her mother. So if you with her mother and you're cheating, do you think when your daughter is 15 and she understands this, is she gonna say, hey, dad, that's cool. I'd rather you be with mom and cheat on her or she gonna say, Dad, if you and Mom not a fit, I'd rather y'all be apart and both be happy and co-parent and love and treat each other with respect versus you being with her and asking her to shut up and to put up with you having other women. What is that? What is your daughter gonna say? And then as a man, you have to ask yourself, okay, do I want my daughter to marry a man who pays the bills and takes care of the kids, but he's having sex with other women and then coming and having sex with my daughter. Because when you think about it, one of them women that the man sleeps with is gonna be crazy. Just based on the statistics, one of them women gonna be crazy. And so if that woman crazy, guess what? 
she gonna try to do something to your daughter who married to this man with multiple women just because he ha is a millionaire she gonna try to do something to your daughter or she might try to mess the man life up to mess his money up and that's gonna affect your daughter too so I think a lot of times as men, we just thinking about ourselves. I think I got two boys and I think about this like, my son would be, my 15 year old would be fire hot if he found out I was cheating on his mama. If he, even if she was cool with it, he'll be mad with her. Like, mom, what in the world are you doing? How you letting him sleep with other women and then come sleep with you? My son get mad if he see me look at a booty. And sometimes a nice set of hounds walk by and it, I, I might catch my eye on accident and he'll say, Dad, what you looking at there, buddy? That's how he, he joke around. Dad, um, eyes look like they, I'm like, no, son, I was not looking over there. But he checked me on that. Uh, a lady will come up to me and introduce herself. Hey, Tony Gasson, I follow you on YouTube. Or I follow you on Instagram. I'm like, oh, hey, great to meet you. You know, great to meet you. She's like, can I take a picture? Yeah, we take a picture. When we leave, my son will be like, uh, yeah, dad. The handshake you gave was a little too nice. He was like, oh, hey, oh, yeah, yeah. And he go to tease him. And then he'll go up to his mom. He's like, yeah, this lady came up to meet dad. And dad was like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. And, and so he really be making a point about that and he don't really be joking he just do it in a joking manner but he's watching that and you know how i know that's real because when i was his age i was with my dad and this lady came out with a nice booty and i was old enough 14 15 16 i was old enough to lust after that booty and i knew that was a nice booty and when this lady was walking towards us i was looking at my dad to see if he was gonna look at her and lust my dad kept his eyes straight ahead and he did not look in that woman's direction. Now he coulda cut his eyes real quick before I started looking at him. He coulda, but I'ma give him the benefit of the doubt cause I can't put something on him that I didn't see him do and I was watching him the whole time. And so I, and that meant something to me. I was like, wow, my dad is faithful to my mom even with his eyes. That made me respect my dad on a whole nother level because I wasn't that guy. Even as a young man, I was a liar. I was a womanizer, I was a player. And to see my dad not even look at a woman, and we men, so he could have been like, mm, that's a beautiful woman. He could have been like, what? Okay, woo. Could look, but you can't touch, son. Hey, son, you can look, but you can't touch, now. He could have did that and I would have normalized that I would have accepted that and I would have been like, okay, cool, yeah, you look, can you touch? But no, he taught me a different lesson. You can't even look. And that stuck with me. So this is what I want men to think about when we think about male responsibility. Our responsibility as men, and it's not about our sex drive, it's not about the thing between our legs. It's really about family. It's about what are we building in this world? Like what we bringing to fruition, our lineage, our legacy. And that's also one of the benefits of marriage that I didn't dive too deep on when we was talking about the benefits of marriage. Like, are there really any benefits of a man marrying? One of the benefits is when you get married, when you find somebody you can marry, and build a family with you now building have economic positioning in the world because you and this woman you become a, a unit you and your wife become a unit you become a team so now your children when they get to see and the same thing with healthy co-parenting it's not even just about marriage it's very important for men to find a balance with healthy co-parenting because now your children get to have the male perspective and the female perspective. It's things that a man provides that a woman cannot provide. And it's things that a woman provides that a man cannot provide. So whether it's your wife or it's your children's mother, it's on us to create a healthy dynamic 
because the child needs that balance. The child needs both. It's going to be days where a child says, Dad, I need to talk to you and will talk to you about things that they will not talk to their mother or a woman about. And it's going to be days where a child said, Mom, I need to talk to you and will talk to the woman about things they will not talk to a man about. Imagine when a man has a daughter and the daughter turns nine or 12 or 13 and now it's time for her cycle to start. If she has a good relationship with a woman in her life, whether that's her mom, stepmom, whatever, bonus mom, she's gonna go to her. She's gonna go to her before she goes to the man because log logically she's gonna say, well, my dad's body doesn't even do this. So I can't fully expect him to understand this. And that's what we have to think about. But if we're treating the woman like trash and the woman is broken, she's hurting, she's crying all the time, she's not gonna be able to be healthy for our children. We have this responsibility that we gotta grow, we gotta stretch, and we can't just get so caught up in our pleasure. We can't just get so caught up in our sexual needs that we let our little head dictate our big head and we just do things based on what we're feeling sexually because it makes sense to our sex drive to have a woman on the side so that when our woman is acting crazy or in her feelings or period zone, we could go to that other woman. It makes sense sexually, but it doesn't make sense logically when you think about the family unit and raising healthy children who get to see healthy examples of love in a relationship. And it's something we really got to face and be honest about. So, hey, this month, we still in the Dodge Challenger Superstock, and we getting us a little action and just ride with me ride with me and vibe with me and understand too as a man this one of my outlets this one of my benefits of marriage having a woman that let me get cars that i like and support me in that and having somebody i could share and do life with so hey thank you so much make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't Give me some topics to talk on. I'm gonna give you my perspective as a husband and a father. It's a lot of male voices out here, but it's, it's not a lot of husbands, husbands and fathers speaking from a platform. So I'm gonna give you my perspective. I'm gonna be real with you. This ain't about pandering to women. This ain't about the women. Ladies, y'all respect this here space that I'm creating for the men to talk and be honest and let's really have healthy dialogue without attacking each other and going back and forth. God bless you. We'll talk soon.